Hey, happy new year. A few people have asked me what Chinese New Year is like for me. So today is Chinese New Year's Eve. We're at uh, Annie's brother's factory. We're gonna eat and then launch off some fireworks later. Happy New Year. Each one of those ladies works at a bank and they gave them a stack of money with a few bucks missing. It's okay, it's okay. You have to guess how much is in each stack without looking. Hongbao is a very important part of uh, many Chinese holidays. Instead of giving gifts, they give away Hong, which is a red bow, which is envelope, just cash. Lots of lots of Hongbao will exchange hands during this holiday all around China. Do you like Hongbao, baby? Do you like Hongbao? Happy New Year! <laughs> well, I'm here, I might as well show you around. This is my brother-in-law's family's factory. They specialize in making water meters. I think they sell mostly to markets in Russia. But the parents live here at the factory. But my brother-in-law lives, you know, in a house actually right next door to where uh, Annie and I live. These are all concrete walls. Got to have the mahjong table. There's actually bedrooms up here. The master room is here where everybody's eating some food right now. And then there's other rooms on this side. Office. The main office here. Tea table for everybody to have tea and talk about the next upcoming year's deals. A lot of marble used in these structures too. Like Chinese love marble. The downstairs offices are here and here. Here we've got the fireworks for tonight. These are the really loud ones. They roll this out and then it just makes a lot of noise. And everybody knows the sparklers. And then the, the snaps, which Eva gets kind of freaked out about. Some cakes. And then the big guys, they're gonna launch these off later when, it, when the sun goes down. But yeah, it's not a huge factory as far as Chinese factories go. But it is kind of nice, it's courtyard style. So the center building here is where like uh, the family lives and where the office kind of, you know, does administrative work and things like that. Uh, upper floors are for the family, lower floors is for the office staff. And then you've got just a series of floors. You've got, here is raw materials and uh, upstairs, I actually have some of my old uh, trike and trailer stuff is up there just stored in some of the empty rooms up there. The lower floor has, you know, plastic injection mold machines and uh, little benders and things to form the uh, water meter components. And then, you know, you've got, I mean, basically factories are laid out in series. So you've got parts coming and then parts being assembled. And then you've got a packaging. I might be the other way around because I think this is raw materials. So maybe you have the raw materials, and then you have the uh, injection molding and an assembly. And then, uh, and then packing and logistics at the end. Simple little quaint factory. Every year, pretty much for Chinese New Year, we come here and we have dinner and then we launch off fireworks. And then we go to um, Annie's father's factory. We launch off fireworks there. Then we go home, turn on all the lights because you have to turn on all the lights. It's good luck. And then uh, call it an end to uh, our Chinese New Year festivities. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways that people do it, whether you live rural on the farmlands or you maybe don't have a family that owns a factory. Something you gotta have every Chinese New Year. Tongyuan. 
tang yuan is uh, sesame. Sesame that's inside of a, like a rice, like a gelatinous rice, outer exterior. It's really tasty. It's like a really sweet end of meal dish for the boom bomb. Boom bomb. Sorry, sorry. My translation is off. We should bring little baby earplugs. Yeah. Come on, hun. Come on. I fall plug out. I know we had those in my in my day. Boom, bam, boom. Happy New Year, Dada. Happy New Year. Next New Year, you're, you're going to talk like this. Happy New Year. That's your offer for now. First came to China ten years ago. There was no regulations on fireworks. Today, there's there's a, a little bit of a of a restriction. This city would erupt for the next four days. Non-stop fireworks. Non non-stop, like 24 hours a day. Really loud. I'm not scared, baby. Happy New Year. Are we leaving? Okay, now we go to uh, Annie's dad's factory. Light off a few more fireworks. This time Eva stays in the car. package from Argentina in the. Nice. <laughs> Some work. There's there's eels in the back of our car. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Annie's father owns a factory. We're at it right now. They make plastic picture frames. Brother-in-law makes the water meters. Dad makes picture frames. No. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Sounds, sounds weird in there. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. It's red. It's it's moving. The sound is because bouncing off of the ceiling. Old and it's yeah. vibrating. Yeah. Yeah. Come on! Come on!
<laughs> the old Chinese guy is laughing at me because I was plugging my ears. He's like, you don't need to plug your ears. Just go, go deaf. It's okay. I haven't heard a thing in 10 years. <laughs> That's about it, guys. We're going to go home, turn on all the lights. Okay. <laughs> that guy is so funny. He thinks he's a lot more funny than he is, though. So. Bye-bye. I remember when I first came to China, I felt like they were going fireworks for for days. Like all day, morning, noon, and night. I couldn't sleep. It sounded like World War III every day. There's a video I shot of Randy. Remember Randy's video when I went up to his office and shot out the video out the window? You want me to change the water for the fish? Yeah. Yeah, you see? Oh, you go, you go, you go, you go. No, change the fish. Okay, now you go, you go. Limbo tradition. Tangyuan, north of China, they eat dumpling, but Ningbo special for Tangyuan. And this is that's that's made by pork oil and sesame and sugar. And this is my sister. She's the master. And this is a flower, yellow color. And this is sticky rice powder. Happy New Year! And that is my dad. Hey! And this is a group of people watching fireworks. The most uh, important part of New Year Eve is coming. Grandpa is going to give home bath. Eva, this bath is you? firework. Wow! You can I Are you rich, honey? No, you are too shallow. Oh, <laughs> you are shallow? Ooh. <laughs> Can you count it in 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> What's that, honey? Uh, one of them is salty. Beef. One of them is beef? Yeah. Really? Really? <laughs> Eva want? Yeah, I think Eva made that one. Happy New Year! Bye bye! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> See you next year! Dada's going through puberty. <laughs> That's great. Alright guys, back at the house. Wishing you all a very happy Chinese New Year. Wishing you a great future year. It's interesting living in China. We get duplicates of birthdays, duplicates of 
<laughs> of, of holidays. Uh, kind of the idea of Chinese New Year is interesting to me because it's, it's not necessarily like any holiday that we have in the States. Um, we have um, Christmas, which is a holiday that brings families together, like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, we have New Year's, which is like you send off fireworks and you celebrate a moment, the changing of the year. But Chinese New Year is like a conglomeration of all of those things. It's a, a long holiday that lasts the better part of two weeks. And uh, during that whole time, everybody's kind of spending time with family and celebrating. It's like a long drawn out Christmas or a Thanksgiving holiday. But then it starts with a bang, a lot like uh, New Year's in, in America. So uh, anyways, it's, it's very interesting to celebrate that. This is my uh, 10th, 10th Chinese New Year. And uh, every year it's kind of, you know, settles in, it becomes more regular. I remember the first one, it was a lot more fireworks and chaos and I just hang, hung on by the seat of my pants, but now I've, I've got it down pretty well. But uh, you guys enjoy yours. Chinese New Year is all about looking to the future, just like uh, American New Year's is, and uh, looking forward to the prosperity and good times that uh, are ahead. Eva's starting the Chinese New Year off with a little bit of a, of a cold. Hopefully she'll get over it soon. But uh, I'll catch up with you later, Jayo. Nice, nice having you for my Chinese New Year. Bye-bye. <laughs>